Hi, so it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I think it's been a few weeks anyway. And I was just sort of, just been distracted with some other things. Just thinking about in the background what I want to do with this channel and what my intentions are and, and everything like that. Just going out and, and sort of living my life a bit more rather than trying to create things and, and you know, sitting in my room making videos and stuff like that. Um, but this channel has been mainly about sort of physical health in terms of fasting and uh, diets and, and healing illnesses and, and, and stuff like that. But there are other things that, that have interested me my whole life that I have struggled with and I do believe that I have sort of come to some resolution with um, in some way. So I'd like to share more of that sort of stuff as well. So more to do with, uh, you know, emo emotional um, type things. So the reason for this video is that quite recently I have gone through a relationship breakdown that, that um, was very difficult for me in, in many ways. But something, something throughout my whole life I have struggled with is, is anger. Um, not necessarily some crazy violent outbursts of anger. But I remember ever since I was a kid, but probably more towards the teenage years, I started to just get more irritable and more just dissatisfied and, and you know, just subtly annoyed at things. And this this um, is a form of anger. It's just a, a sort of, a, I guess, a milder form. So, you know, the, the, the anger ranges from mild dissatisfaction right up until rage. And, I mean, if you're a type of person that does experience dissatisfaction or irritation a lot, it, it, I mean, it, it can be all classed as anger, in, in my opinion, anyway. So, when, when the relationship sort of ended, I um, was just angry, and I didn't really know why. I mean, it was pretty obvious why, uh, but I, I, I sort of understood very clearly what happened and what went wrong for both sides. And there was just no real reason for me to be angry at this person. So what I started to do was just write. Um, so it's just writing from my point of view, writing my story, writing how I felt. And then this one day I just thought, you know what? What if I just pretend I'm this other person and just started writing from their point of view? Um, and what I, what I literally did was I was just, I was typing on the computer on my notepad and um, or even on my phone and I was visualizing uh, me looking out of that person's eyes and as though I was that person talking to me. So I would refer to myself as you as though I was looking at myself. Um, and pretty much straight away the anger just completely dissipated and it turned into grief, turned into crying, turned into all that sort of thing. Um, basically immediately and it was such an incredible and, and quick experience that I started just to do it more and more. Um, and what I find is that if, if it doesn't cure, if, if it doesn't fix the anger immediately, I just need to add more details. So what I started to do is, uh, for example, when, when I was a kid, um, because I remember just being so angry with my parents for just doing really shitty things. And when I was a kid, I remember my mother checked, like read my diary and got me in trouble for all the stuff that was in it. And I mean, I was just a kid and I, I was so angry, but I was just too scared of these people to sort of fight back or argue with them. But that invasion of privacy just made me crazy angry. And, and I think probably on some level I have, um, I have held on to that, um, you know, my whole life, which we all do from when we we're kids. So I, I thought I'd give that that a go, and I started writing about it. Um, just started writing about it from my mother's point of view, um, and it didn't kill the anger straight away, but very quickly it started to, and, and it didn't straight away. And I just kept adding more details to it. I just kept talking about, you know, what she went through when she was young, and and what she was going through with me being sort of a sensitive and very quiet child, and and her being worried and, and just adding more and more and more details from her point of view. And fundamentally, I realized that everyone is doing their best. And when you do exercises like this, you do start to see that there's really no option for people. They're just 
everyone's just dealing with their pain. Everything is a reaction to pain. So every action and all that sort of stuff is just their reaction to their own pain. And they're just doing their best, trying to protect their pain or trying to express themselves or trying to you know, control or, or even mitigate their own negative reactions. And, and it's, all, it's all just this big expression of suffering or pain that they're holding on to. So the more information or the more details I added about her life and what she was going through with me, I just saw it so clearly. And I, again, I started to cry and just released so much stuff. And the anger was just gone so quickly. And it, and it sort of makes me think that the anger and the sadness that we hold inside or the, this trauma that we haven't expressed is being sort of trapped there or held there by the anger and by the fear, uh, the fear of releasing it and, and the anger protects it. So I believe it's not fully let go of until it's released through through the stomach and through the gut, which is where it's held onto by, by crying it out or by releasing it in some way. So this, this exercise has changed so many things for me and quite quickly, um, and I, I just keep doing it. I, I kept writing at the start, um, but then I, can, I got better at it and I can do it in my head now or even, even out aloud when I'm driving or something, I just sort of talk to myself as though I'm the other person, uh, keep adding details until, until the, uh, the issues resolve. So um, I'm going to keep going with this. Hopefully some of you guys who, you know, if you've, if you've got anger, which, which all of us do in some way, um, I'm definitely hoping this, this might help, help, uh, help some of you guys. If you've got any questions, uh, definitely feel free to, to leave a comment. Thanks guys. Uh, I forgot to add. So what, one thing I wanted to add was that something to look out for when, when you're releasing or when, when you've done it, other than the, the anger disappearing is you'll get this sense of peace and this sense of forgiveness, um, for whoever it is that you're angry at. So, I mean, the anger is obviously some kind of rejection of, of what, what is reality and reality always is just what it is. You can't change it. It is what it is. And when we push against or resist reality, we become angry. But when you fully embrace and understand reality for what it is, all it can really be is this sense of peace, sense of love and sense of forgiveness. So if you're not experiencing that towards someone, um, then, then definitely suggest to keep looking and, and, and look for the anger or look for the irritation. And then that's where you can start to, to look into telling the story, um, telling the story from their side and uh, that may may assist you in, in releasing the anger and, and, and grieving or accepting um, who they are and then coming to a, a sense of peace and love for yourself and that other person. Cheers.